Hey everybody, welcome back to another Behind the Curtains episode. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we are gonna look at The President's Choice. The President's Choice is a DVD gimmick slash effect coming to you from the good people down at Sans Minds Creative Labs. Uh, if you haven't watched the trailer yet, let me just briefly summarize. Uh, it's a card grab trick. So it's a card grab trick, but it's also a money trick. So it's kind of these two things together. I mean, think about think about Nightshades by Paul Harris and Cardiographic by Martin Lewis coming together and having a baby. And that's probably what the president's choice is. So basically the trick goes, you have a card selected, it's returned, it's lost into the deck. You then bring out a paper bill and say that the, the president or the important figure on the face of it is your helper. Uh, and then you can go a couple different ways with this. You could make the mouth on the important figure animate and you could do this as a funny thing or maybe like a spooky thing. And then uh, explaining that this person on the bill is your secret helper, you then insert the bill into the deck and then withdraw the bill. And when you withdraw the bill, the chosen card, the spectator's chosen card is stuck there between that person's teeth. Sounds pretty fun. What's involved? All right, so let's say you like this. You think this is my kind of thing. Like it's card magic, it's money magic, it's funny, it's haunting. Like, I don't know, it, you know, you're in that zone. It's speaking to you. What are you gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get a DVD, okay? Thin line case, typical from Sans Minds Magic. You're getting a DVD, physical DVD, no downloads, right? 47 minute long uh, video. They're gonna explain everything you need, of course, and we'll get into that. You're also gonna get the supplies you need to make the gimmick, but not everything, and I'll talk about that too. And then you're gonna get the little force card stickers that you would put on your uh, bill. Okay, so don't worry about that. So they'll take care of the little force card. I think you get like 16 stickers and there's four different options as far as force cards, but uh, they'll take care of that end. So let's just talk about performing the effect. Okay, so I mean that's usually our go-to first, like what's it going to take? Um, as far as angles go, uh, I think angle-wise it's great. So the, if you're a street magic person, walk around performer, you don't use a table, I think this speaks volumes because uh, you can do regular card tricks with this. Okay, you don't have to worry about well my deck is loaded or it's in a deck stack and now I can't use it. Use your cards all day long in your performance and then when you're ready to do this, you just ring it in, okay? So you can use your cards for regular stuff and you don't need a table like I said. If you watch uh, Herman in the video, he actually lays the cards down on the spectator's hand so they make the table. So that's great, you don't need a table. And as far as uh, surrounding, um, they say in the video that you could do this 100% surrounded. I don't know about that. I mean, it would depend on how you held the gimmicks and I think the more you try to conceal, the less people can see. Does that make sense? But I mean, it's still, I think your, your angle your angle opportunities are broad. You're not, I don't think you're gonna run into a lot of angle issues uh, with this. And then as far as uh, the inspectability goes, I know they say in the video, you know, you can immediately hand it out. That's true, you can immediately hand out the bill. All right, so the ditch, there is a ditch, okay? There is a load, there is a ditch. The ditch happens very early on in the effect before the people actually really start paying attention. And once they've kind of cued in that the magic has happened, the ditch is done and they can't, they won't be able to go back and see what, where you did it. So once the bill is seen, you can immediately hand it out. Now you can ask for that bill back and you can do the trick again, or you can leave the bill with the spectator and they will have a fun souvenir. Now, as far as the DVD goes, okay, so as far as the teaching goes, uh, if you've ever gotten a Sans Minds video before, it's very similar. Uh, you got Jason out at a beach, I think he does all the live performances, then you have Herman back in the studio, he's got a nice black backdrop. There's there's, a, there's music in the background, but it's very faint. And uh, he's gonna go over 47 minutes worth of teaching. So it's definitely everything you need. I'd say within the first seven minutes, uh, when they initially run through the effect, you, you, if you're an experienced performer, you got it already. Like in that first seven minutes, if like if you know your way around magic tricks, that first seven minutes is like, ah, the, the light comes on, you, you know everything. Then they're gonna walk through how to put the gimmick together. And really to build the gimmick, if you're a patient person, because that's what I am, I'm a, I'm a patient person, I'm not, I don't wanna rush through and build a sloppy gaff. Uh, I would give yourself 30 minutes and you're gonna need a, a lot of stuff to build this, okay? So you do have to build it. 
And the gaff building tutorial is all done in silence with just English uh, words on the screen, subtitles with a lot of music in the background. Then it's going to come back to Herman again in the studio. He's going to run through the main trick, obviously. He's going to talk about storage options. He'll talk about where to wear it on your person, on your body, like where to keep it during performances. He'll teach you an easy force that you can do because obviously you need to force the card. He'll come back and he'll talk about some cleanup options and then some tips and advice. All right, so let's go back to making the actual gimmick, all right? So you have to make the gimmick. I said they give you some of the pieces, but you have to provide all of the rest. Primarily, you have to provide your own money. And it has to be money that you're comfortable with massacring. Like, you've got to cut the money up. So you do have to cut the, your bills up. So you, obviously, in the video, they show you using an American single bill, which you know, is worthless, so we don't mind cutting it up. Uh, but you'll have to make that decision for yourself. You're gonna need a bill, right, that you'll, you'll need at least three of that you can uh, use in this. And uh, you'll need a figure's face, right? Male or female, it doesn't matter. And then kind of like that circle frame or that square frame around it. If you've got bills like that, I would say it'll work fine. You don't have to do the mouth animation. I, I mean, I, I think it plays either way. It could play as a funny uh, joke or it could play as a, something scary, but you don't have to do that. So if that's not your character, I would say don't worry about the mouth animation part. Um, but like I said, that's just kind of the bill prerequisites you're gonna need after that. Uh, so yeah, three different bills. You'll need cards, of course, super glue, double-sided tape, an X-Acto knife, scissors, and a ruler and a Sharpie. As far as the practice goes, I think the, the gimmick does all the work for you. You really don't need, it's not a lot of practice. I think the only practice is the ditch, the switch, the ditch, okay? That's the practice part. And there could be some angle issues there, and I would say these are probably my, my biggest negatives to this whole effect, is that it's a, it's a timing thing, it's a pressure thing, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an orientation thing, like the deck has to be orientated right. So you're definitely gonna wanna practice this a lot until that ditch is perfect, right? Before you ever go out and perform it. Because I think the ditch is the place where you have the most opportunity to fail or flash. But overall, I think this is a great way to end your favorite card trick or just to do a really quick quickie. Like if you said, hey, you want to see something quick, it involves cards, which people like, it involves money, which people like, so it's the best of both worlds. Uh, it's super easy to do and it's very visual. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the President's Choice from Sands Minds Creative Labs. And I just want to say that at Merchant of Magic, they supply and manufacture magic tricks, books, DVDs, and accessories to both professional and amateur magicians world worldwide. So if you ever have any questions about building a routine or performing in public or advice for handling spectators, just know that all of their sales team are full members of the world famous Magic Circle and are professional magicians. So if you ever need advice, their trained experts are ready to help. Their team would love to hear from you and they will try their best to help you overcome any problem that might be holding you back as a performer. So if you have any questions about this particular trick or anything else related to magic, please send them an email and you can send that to support at magicshop.co.uk. You can also check out their blog or their YouTube channel for even more tips and advice at blog.magicshop.co.uk. Thanks and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.